Hey there, guys. Blood and Mon 14 here. All right, and let's uh, finish this up. Yami Vicar is next. Triple 11. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. Time to do it. All right. Ready for the Florence voice, guys? No, we're not gonna edit anything. <laughs> it's funny, I made it this far with my fusion deck, too. Ah, my name is Florence, master of the Shadow Games. Why don't we begin, dear one? <laughs> you may live to regret it. Now face the wrath of my dark necrophilia. All right. Yami Bakura, first time. More epic music. For Dawn of Destiny, this is an epic intro. Mr. Kapamato, Kogi Joji. And we'll set, uh, we'll set a bluff. One card face down. Let's see what you've got, Yami Bakura. Right, how you guys doing? Oh, doing pretty good. This is the same day I recorded the previous episode, uh, which uh, I just decided there's actually some, uh, ah, Gemini Elf, that's not good. There are actually a few episodes of, uh, that I did of, uh, what do I want to take here? Gemini Elf, Gemini Elf. We'll just take another tomato. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to post the last episode, you know, today. I decided that I'm going to post it today. Um, you know, and, uh, publish it and everything. Uh, but just a note to myself, and I guess just a heads up, you know, for you guys. Uh, there's actually a few episodes of, uh, that I did, uh, without commentary. You know, on my HD capture device of this, of, uh, Dawn of Destiny. Yeah, so I recorded, like, uh, two or three dueling marathons in between this part and the one. The last part, which was Monster Reborn. Hmm. Well, if I, we can kill our tomato, we get another search. That's good for us. Uh, let's see what else he does. Aqua Core. Oh, uh, I see. That's an interesting card, Yami Makura. Hmm. Kind of wish I had left my missing tomato in attack mode now, but oh well. Yeah, we'll play the Witch of the Black Horse. Uh, but yeah, 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 just look forward to that. So, in between this episode, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, next episode, you'll basically, sh I'll basically show, um, the, uh, Dueling Marathons, yeah, so, there's that. Uh, we'll take Slate Warrior, and, uh, yeah, so. All right. All right, so, try to show you that, that card he played, and why was Mystic Tomato at 1900 for a sec there? Well, he had Aqua Course, yeah. If there are monsters with the same name, increase the attack and defense of those cards by 500. And there were two tomatoes at the time, so. Uh, now, I'm sure he, this guy has, like, Torrential or Trap Ball or something, but let's just try Slate Warrior. Let's just try. <laughs> I activate my Trap Card. This card shall spell out a few letters for you over several turns. So, we'll start with the letter F. <laughs> it was a word that had to be censored. Uh, what did the. You want to know what the message is? It's a message so horrifying, so terrible, that four kids had to censor it twice. What did it say before? Disney. <gasps> now, now, luckily, we do have a mystical space typhoon. So I'm actually not going to destroy uh, the, the card yet. I'm basically just going to. Yeah, let him get a few letters, and then, uh, or maybe he'll even block his own zones. Usually the AI will block his own zones, which is funny. Actually, now that I think about it, his own zones are blocked right now. <laughs> By his own Aqua Chorus. How funny is that? Okay, let's uh, start with Jarkery. He didn't, he did nothing in that turn. Why? Oh, right, I have Forgiving Men face down, don't I? Okay, yeah. And he blocks his zones again. Life absorbing machine. <laughs> I activated my trap card for life absorbing machine. All right, well, let's destroy our tomato because, like I said, if it's uh, since he reborn it and it's our tomato, we should get another search, right? Right? Ah, my life points. No, no, no. 
I thought that was asking for Mr. Tomatoes effect. There we go. Uh, what shall we take? Well, um... <laughs> I guess I could take Cannon Soldier and sacrifice itself. Why not? It's only 500, but, uh... Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't attack, don't attack. <laughs> that was a close one. Okay, Cannon Soldier. Tribute yourself, fool. There we go. That's 500 more, yeah, girl. Oh, look at his face when he takes damage. Yeah, kind of creepy. All right, but his zones should be blocked after I end my turn here. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, now you can't even play uh, the A and the N. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't really see any threat from the destiny board there, Yami Bakura. Uh, one thing I will do, though. Ah, I have another message for you. The letter I. I rather like that word, I. It reminds me of what I did to Pegasus' socket at the end of Duelist Kingdom. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't know why I threw that line in there. Uh, I guess we'll play Sand here. Do I have the soldier in this deck? Hmm, I guess we're about to find out. I'm considering crashing with Gemini Elf too. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, great, he did, oh, I was about to say he did nothing. No, but he is gonna take down Sand Yen, which I wanted him to do. But he didn't play any other monsters, which is good. Uh, do I have Penguin Soldier? think I did here in the fusion deck. Um, I guess let's just take, uh, hmm, what would be good here? Let's take Magician of Fate. I don't know. Maybe I'll want to replay MST. Maybe. Hmm. And I just thought about this. I definitely should set MST and get, oh, perfect. Perfect draw. Now I activate polymerization. Ah, what? A fusion. Yes, sir. And so now I'll fuse my Marie the Fallen one with the Forgiving Maiden, which I have on the field, in order to form ah, St. Joan. I'm not going to crash anymore, Yami Bakura. <laughs> Got my fusion out. And now I guess I will set Magician of Faith. Yeah, uh, but to finish that line of thought, if we hadn't drawn Polly there, I was going to set my MST in case, like, like, let's say he drew another Gemini Elf and summoned it. That wouldn't have been good, because then it could have beaten uh, Slate Warrior or my Forgiving Maiden. But now, see ya, Gemini Elf. Light of Justice. Ah, how dare you. All right, and we can't beat Aquamador, so I am a turn. The great thing about him locking up his zones, too, we don't have to worry about Dark Hole, Raigeki, Harpy's Feather Duster, even like Tribute to the Doomed, whatever, Monster Born. He can't play a card if his zones are blocked. And he blocked his own zones. Great job. All right, Magician of Fate effects. Yeah, this and he's not playing monsters. This is this is like best case scenario. Normally, Yami Bakura is a lot harder, as you can imagine. With him being this late available in the triples, this guy's got some really, 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 really good magic and trap cards. And as you see, you know he's got strong monsters. Uh, Two thousand defenders, Gemini Elf. I'm pretty sure, as you saw on his. Uh, intro screen there. He also does have Dark Necrofear, so yeah, be careful against this guy, man. But seriously, like, we got lucky he blocked his zones, because if he didn't, I'm sure things would be going south for us real quick, you know. Yeah, because my fusion deck is one of my more underpowered ones. Ah, that's impossible. How dare you? Alright, take this. With the punch! Ah, I'm just starting to become upset for the <laughs> All right, he's down to 800. What are you gonna do? You gotta summon a monster now. I mean, best case scenario, he said Cyber Jar. He said something. I don't know if it's Cyber Jar. All right. Okay. Uh, does this guy have Mystic Tomato or anything like that? You know what? Just in case, we'll check with Slate Warrior. First, yeah. Okay, it's just another Mador. All right. <laughs> but look at his face when he does damage to us. He just—he does that classic Yami Bakura grin. Love it. 
All right, Yami Bakura, that's it. Masaki, take him down. Yeah, Masaki, the legendary swordsman, attacking the life points directly. Ah, I can't believe it. Look at his face, oh my goodness. All right. Ah, what? This is impossible. I, I can't lose a shadow game. Oh no. All right, Florence, we win. And since we beat Florence, let's just pick the Winged Dragon of Raw for whatever reason. Uh, oh, well, we, we did get a couple of his cards. The Dark Duel and Dark Spirit of the Silence. So there we go. We have defeated that. And after Triple Eleven, yeah, it's actually just a rehash of some people. Uh, <laughs> but some pretty good people. We're talking Battle City finalists. Yami Merrick, Kaiba, and Yami Yugi. Eight grand each, but you do have 14,000 life points on the next triple, so yeah, just a little preview. But we're definitely gonna save now that we did that. Yeah, all right. So let's look at some of those cards he gave us uh, real quick. I, mean, I don't think I'm gonna put them in my deck, but these cards are gonna be pretty good in this day, in this game. Dark Door, both monsters can only attack with one monster. Uh, Dark Spirit of the Silent. So, basically, whenever an attack is declared, you negate the attack of that monster. Then you select a different monster your opponent has that's face up and have it attack. So, even if it's in f face up defense, you can change it to attack. This can be good, honestly, for outing some uh, annoying cards like Marshmallow or, uh, yeah, Spirit Reaper, etc. Uh, or just a high 2k defender. So, yeah. Oh, wait, let's uh, <laughs> let's change to the correct deck before we get out of here. Is this a my water deck? Yeah, it's my flood deck. All right, good. Yep, and now that we've unlocked uh, Yami Bakura, uh, let's go to single duel now. And of course, I'm gonna be doing some grind episodes between. Uh, mainly the grind episodes will be, um, right putting a shizu at the end of triple eleven ah challenging me will be your first and last mistake <laughs> this is one shadow game you cannot possibly win mortal. <laughs> all right yeah uh but what was i saying uh yeah yeah uh oh no, no 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 first of all like i said the next few episodes will be the ones i skipped you know from the grinding uh like the past three yeah is this new music? I don't know if it is. It might be. But, uh, I don't know. That sounds a little familiar. But, uh, no, no, no. The next three or four episodes will be the dueling marathons in between this episode right here and at part 195. Uh, right. So I'll put those up. And then, ooh, Duster. First turn, let's go. So I'll do those. Ha! A spell card. You, it can't be. Uh, and then, um, but once I catch up, uh, I guess we'll go virtual charity. Once I catch up, uh, then, um, after that, we'll do some, ooh, Monster Reborn. Nice. So I'll discard Barrel Dragon and Jar Grape. I activate a magic card. Oh, wait. I activate a magic card. Reborn the monster. And now I'll resurrect the powerful monster I just threw into the graveyard. Barrel Dragon in America. This will also set Magician to Fate. Recycling Monster Reborn. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, we'll set Trinko. <laughs> Go, Barrel Dragon. Triple Proton Blast in America. Yeah, but after we catch up, uh, then we'll have another, we'll do a shorter dueling marathon. Which, I'll do a couple single duels versus Yami Bakura, because there are some unique cards you can win from him. Now that he's unlocked. Uh, so we'll do a couple single doubles for just him. And then, of course, we'll put Ishizu at the end of Triple Aw, oh, come on, bro. We'll put... <laughs> I'll activate my spell card, Dark Hole. It destroys all monsters on the field. Dang it. But yeah, we'll put Ishizu at the end of Triple Eleven. And we'll put uh, Odeon at the end of Triple Eleven, for sure. So. All right, Yami Bakura. All right. You got me with that Dark Hole. That Dark Abyss. That was a good one, I must admit. Dog Macho Attack. Uh, but yeah, after this single duel versus Yami Bakura, this may be a bit of a shorter uh, episode, but yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the episode, so. But uh, yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to do, was finish up that triple from last episode, so. 
great. He's not summoning monsters. He's not playing magic or trap cards. He's just doing nothing, which is... That is fantastic. This is basic. Yeah, oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? I just thought of. Because I just thought to myself, like, why isn't he playing monsters? Why isn't he doing anything? No, no, no. You saw that he does play uh, the Destiny board cards in his deck. So odds are, right now, ah, he's just sitting on, like, Spirit Message I, Spirit Message, like, L, and, you know, maybe a monster he can't, uh, maybe a tribute monster or something. Yeah. If I was a betting man, that's what I'd bet. Alright, we're actually gonna fire off Witcher. And since he's a brick, since there are cards he can't play in his hand, and we have Magical Thorn, I'm gonna grab Morphing Jar. Yeah. There we go. Alright. And, uh, just for no reason, we'll set a Legendary Ocean. Yeah. Alright, Yami Bakura. If you keep doing nothing, I've got you. Ah, uh, tribute to the dude. <laughs> I like to make my spell card by discarding one card. Ah, he did have a tribute monster, see? He had a uh, uh, summon skull. By discarding one card, I can destroy a monster, and I'll send your cannon soldier to the grave. Darn, we didn't draw a monster. Well, let's go for the magical thorn. Morphing jar, and that's it. Well, I'll set negate attack. Why not? Why not? Maybe I'll want to negate an attack. <laughs> but hey, you can't negate attack if I don't summon any monsters, you fool. Ha, but I did summon one aqua Go, cascading waterfall. Well, you lose, Yami Okura. Jeep, congratulations. You played yourself. Go, morphing jar. Destroy his hand. Ah, he did have a spirit message, L. Ha, well, fun fact, Yami Bakura, we just gave you the L because my magical thorn inflicts 500 damage for each card you discarded, and I count two. Ah, that must have been some mistake. A novice like you isn't capable of defeating me. Let's do it again, Flat Mono 14, and I'll show you my true power. Uh, maybe next time, Yummy yeah, Bakura. All right, oh, and we get a couple of his cards. Fortress Secret, and we get Gemini Elf, which we already have three of. All right, guys, well, I'll just show you that card, and that's basically going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for joining me. Yeah, a portrait cursed by a dark ar by an artist. It is said to bring ill fortune to anyone who owns it. <gasps> oh, no, we own it. Does that mean we're going to break it out? Find out next time. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe that's why ba Yami Bakura bricked, because, you know, originally he owns this card, and uh, it definitely brought him some ill fortune in that duel, as well as the triple duel. Alright, guys, but, uh, <laughs> I think that's gonna do it. Alright, so, yeah, look forward to the upcoming dueling marathons, and, uh, but I'm gonna make them, I'm not gonna do too many marathons. Um, because I think we're actually close to something happening in this game, something that I've been wanting to show, and really something I've been wanting to accomplish for quite a long time. Well, I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah. I hope you guys look forward to that. Um, I, th I thought there was something else I wanted to say. Uh, let me think. The, uh, let's talk about that. I was talking about... Let me think. There is? Isn't there something I wanted to... Uh, well, I'm. I did have a thought of something I was wanting to say or do after yet, but I, I I'm completely blanking on it right now, guys. Uh, sorry. Um, but if I think of whatever it was, uh, I guess that'll. Yeah, I'll just cut in with another short video or whatever. Oh, library, fifty percent. Wow, we actually have. Does that mean we have fifty percent of all the cards? Up there, 514 out of 1017. Like, there's no way. There's no way we have 50% of all the cards in this game. Maybe we just have 50% of what we've discovered so far. Yeah. Oh. Uh, nah, nah. I can't think of it. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs> what a funny library animation. <laughs> Speaking of the finger, we basically, that's basically what we just gave to Florence just now. Ha <laughs> ha. We're number one.
number one, number one, like the sun. There we go.